It's the Rock Man back at it again. And I've been having a hell of a time finding the time to do voiceovers for these videos, but uh, I got a minute now. So I do still plan on putting out the three lifts video. It's just going to be more like an end of March kind of thing with some newer lifts in it. Because uh, I don't want to want to just add up GLA's numbers. And most of y'all are fucking sandbagging it anyway, so I don't feel too bad about it. <laughs> Not doing the rankings for February. Uh, so I haven't done barbell bench press in like three months. And I've been hitting all of my weak point volume on machines. This has been one of my favorites for the last couple weeks. This was a week I did uh, three 5x10s. This was my third workout. And my fifth set, I decided to get loose with it and chase some reps. Smoked it. This is a variation of row I'm doing on a new machine. So wide grip, higher pull. And it took me a while to figure this machine out because on the hammer strength version, you don't have an adjustable chest pad. And for some reason, that was really throwing me off. <laughs> so uh, you got to find the bar path that you want to pull on the machine so you're not putting yourself at a mechanical advantage. Uh, and you're getting the proper bar path and proper activation you're looking for. So it just kind of took me a minute, but I think I'm up to some respectable numbers now. So that's cool. I'm liking it anyway. Uh, I don't seem to be able to load it as heavy as the hammer strength, and I don't really like the neutral grip position, but uh, just something different than the cable and the hammer strength. This was a workout I worked up to 3 by 12 with the heaviest cambered dumbbell we got in the place. So that was cool. Um, one barbell exercise every workout, guys. You got to get it in there where you're just fucking around chasing a pump. <laughs> but uh, a lot of times I'll do my tricep stuff on cables. It just really ends up being uh, on these types of workouts, what's easier to set up. But like I said, it's been about three months since I've done a barbell bench press and I see my bench downstairs when I go down there to deadlift and shit. And it's just it's so lonely and do my accessory <laughs> hip work. And I decided to get after it Sunday morning and it took me an eternity to warm up. Uh, I did ten, four sets of 10 with this weight, and I did pretty much 10 reps with every little plate that I added to it just to dial on my setup, and it made me really hot, <laughs> even though it was not especially warm downstairs. Uh, I was pretty fired up to get her done. So I wasn't expecting to be able to work up too heavy on the bench press, but I was actually surprised, and man, I forgot how much I love that fat pad that's on there. It is really awesome to use. And I just hit this weight for a couple because I knew what I really wanted to get to with my working weight. So I just might as well hit this stop along the way since I already got a billion reps in. And uh, 226 is where I wanted to be. I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to get all my reps, but it actually turned out pretty good. So this is my third set of 10. And if you get the volume way up, you can hear me stop breathing on rep seven, because if I would have breathed out one more time, my back would have locked up and that would have been game over because I had, I'm out of practice with my setup and I had spent so many reps in the setup that my shit was cramping up. So I decided to break it down uh, to smaller increments and do four sets of five to finish up my 50 reps at my working weight. And that worked out really well. I threw the orange bands on there just to kind of add a little bit of resistance. This was my third set and I am actually kind of surprised how much momentum those little tiny bands kill and how much they really add at the top. So that's definitely going to be something I'm going to keep messing with because the band pegs on this bench, and I have all the mini bands, so I definitely need to start utilizing it uh, more often. And my chest is smoked from that workout, <laughs> partially because I did so many reps, and partially because I used a wide grip, and none of the machines at the grip at the uh, gym grip as wide as I do. 
So it's just grabbing the bar to me, guys. I don't give a fuck. Uh, it's ring. My index finger covers up the ring. And I would go wider, but I'm limited by the size of the bar and the uprights. So this is an exercise I had in mind when I did the spacing for the uh, pulley from the floor joist. And I just got to try it out. I think I did three sets of 12 with four blues on it, if you don't want to do the math. So liking the way that worked out, too. Hope you guys are training strong, and as always, thanks for watching.